yeah, so they are still super squishy and satisfying. Hello. Guess who didn't record sound for this bit? I'll give you a clue. It's this Dumbo here. So I'm going to just speak over the voice right now. Um, good job, me. I am doing a jelly quash review for you today, as you can tell by the title. I have way too many jelly paint sets. I have a few different ones, and I'm going to go through them now with you one by one, and the sound will have been recorded after this. But yes, you can look at you, you look at me right now, because I was like, I want to talk to you face to face didn't have any sound brilliant job good job look at her who does she think she is she thinks she can be a youtuber she's stupid okay let's get into the jelly gouache what i wanted to do today is just talk about the jelly paints that i have so i have a lot as you can see here um i have the artex ones that i got sent i have my original himi one that blew up ages ago i have my newest set which is this uh chocolatey marie one and then i have this massive set and then i have another massive set which is the um acrylic do you like how i did that acrylic version and i thought i would just go through them talk about when i bought them and how they're holding up basically um and which ones i like the best because I'm pretty sure that everyone likes jelly paint and I thought it would be a nice chill video to do with you guys so let's see and get into it which one is the best also as you can tell I don't exactly have a fancy setup I am just a little baby youtuber but it's nice to talk to you face to face a little bit this is how the original set is looking this is the first one I ever got and I fell in love with the design of it uh, you guys have all seen it before and I haven't opened this one in a while Looking a little crusty, but uh, we can proceed So I have my things that I need my paper my brushes and I repurposed this little um, dropper jar from a skincare brand and I'm just gonna use it to like drop water into these dried out jellies which are crusty now, but probably still usable so I got these about three, two, three years ago and uh, I absolutely loved them when I first got them and everyone liked them. I think this was like a big uh, point for everyone when we first discovered the jelly gouache as a community here on YouTube and uh, it did really well that video, like that's my best video ever. So after that jelly gouache was kind of my thing, uh, jelly paints in general, I really enjoyed them and uh, yeah so I just thought I'd revisit them because I've done a lot of jelly videos and you guys probably know that. So this is all dried out, basically. It's three years old, it's done its time in Azkaban and you know, it's like still okay. I can use it kind of more like a, a watercolour at this point than an actual wash set but i guess let's see if it can be opaque still which is the important thing about gouache is that it can be as opaque as you want it to be so you can use it like watercolor but you can also use it as an acrylic in the sense that you can go over your mistakes and yeah you can work from light to dark dark to light whereas with watercolor you have to work uh light to dark otherwise you can't go back in over dark with watercolour but with gouache you can. So these are kind of alright, they're doing okay, they're very old, they're like a very old lady in her pr uh, prime years. <laughs> uh, she's doing good, she's okay, like obviously it wouldn't be the main set that I ran to now that I have other sets but the fact that it's here I could still use it, it's still usable, it's still doing pretty good if you can see here. I'm just doing little swatches to test how well they're holding up and it, yeah, crusty but good. That's the, the rating I'm going to give it. Crusty but good. Let's move on to the next set. So after that, I got pretty into jelly gouaches and I got this massive set, <laughs> which is the Adore gouache colour 
and I will link all the links down below. I They might be Amazon affiliate links, which means that I get a little bit of money if you guys click on that and then buy anything from that link. This is the Adore gouache that I wanted to try out because I wanted to try out different brands of jelly gouache. I say jelly gouache because they come in this like cup design that sort of looks like a jelly cup. These ones we've looked at recently and yes, in the previous video they were mouldy. And yes, in this video they're still a bit mouldy. So that's just absolutely brilliant, isn't it? I think we don't really need to try these out as I have tried them out in the past and uh, I think once I get rid of the mould I can reuse them. And they're still kind of squishy, jelly-like, which is good. These are probably nearly as old as the set we just tried. And now there's a plane going by for some reason. But yeah, I think these are okay. I will link the video where I used them recently, so we don't really need to review them again. But they're doing good. A quick review on them for those who have not seen that video. If you ignore the mould that has been growing because the lid doesn't really fit correctly, uh, they're still good. You can scrape off the mould. <laughs> You could be that person, like me. The ones in the outer areas have dried out quite considerably compared to the ones here. Um, they're still jellified, um, most of them. Sorry about that, that's probably going to trigger some people. But there's mould on them, so it doesn't really matter. I think, obviously, my review is going to have to mention the fact that they came cracked. This area is all cracked, so there is air coming into the box, which is causing the mould and the dryness. But... If you think about it, if that wasn't um, part of it, the jelly paints are still kind of jelly. So they're not as dried out as the HMI ones. And considering they're about the same age, then I would say that that's pretty good. Just that they came with a crack lid is the only reason that I am voting these a mouldy but sturdy review. <laughs> also, I'm not really going to talk about price, just a heads up, because... The pricing on these jelly paints kind of depends on where you are in the world. Some places are going to be more expensive because of shipping, but I suppose if you lived in an area where they're produced, like China, it would be very cheap for you. But if you live in a place like Gibraltar, like me, then they're not that cheap sometimes to deliver. Next up is the Artex ones. They are a company that uses, I think, the same manufacturer as the HIMI ones. They're more accessible to people in the US and people like me. They sent me these two uh, versions of the jelly paints. They're both exactly the same, so I'm just going to look at one of them. Let's go with the yellow boom 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 and yeah they're exactly the same kind of style with the palette lid and uh, the only difference is that the paints are kind of a different color and I'm gonna just activate them a little bit to the HMI MI ones let's just compare them quickly for you guys obviously bear in mind that the HMI ones are a lot older but you can see that they're like quite different colors there's some similar colors but these ones are more pastel-y colors i would say than these ones and it's interesting because it's like if you did want to get both sets it's kind of cool because you would have variants of colors which isn't necessarily important because you can always mix the colors that you want yourself but if you're in favor of more pastel palette this one is probably more for you um, I would say and yeah, um, I got sent these Artex ones, but these are completely my review on them They're really um, squishy still and I've had them For about a year I would say so maybe longer actually, but yeah, they're really nice They're the same all these paints are pretty much the same like consistency a nice little like juicy <laughs> Gouache kind of thing. Oh, I would say that something I didn't mention before is that the um HMI MI ones they do come with like a set of brushes that I didn't rate very highly when I first got them because I was like, oh, they're very stiff, but they're, actually they work very nicely for gouache, and I think they are super nice and uh, yeah, probably a nice added bonus if you want to go with the HMI MI ones. And I think I think Artex might do ones that come with brushes now. And you might be able to like pick your own brushes and stuff if that's the case, but yeah. So they're pretty solid, they're exactly the same, this one to this one, so you can choose a colour that you like. Oops, one little jelly got away. Uh, yeah, and they're doing well, they're still pretty good. They do get a little bit dried around 
the edges. I noticed that on some of the paints that are more on the edge tend to dry out a little bit quicker than the ones in the middle, which is weird because you'd think, I don't know, that I guess the middle ones are way more airtight. But yeah, they come with this like nice set, the same as the other ones that we mentioned, the HMI MI ones. So pretty solid review for these. These are really handy. I prefer these sets to tubes of gouache as well because for me as an artist, I tend to just dip into things as you probably just noticed. And I just go for stuff, so it's easy for me to just have them there. I like, I tend to do, um, to mix my own colours on the side. So what I do is I have them there and I'll scoop them out and quickly mix them. And it will be, it's, it's a nice thing to have. So I rate those pretty solidly. They're really nice. So if you want to check them out, they're down below. Then I've got this massive set. Great set. Oh, this one is massive. This is a acrylic wash set. Oh, and it is huge, humongous, and it is, uh, yeah, it's the Mia ones, which I think Mia and HMI, MI are like a sa the same brand, but they are these massive jelly cup designs, they are big, humongadunga ones, but they are acrylics, and I don't really like acrylics as much as I like gouache. So I'm really glad that I have this giant array of paint here that I can't really want to use. But you can see they're still really, really, really wet, juicy, I don't know what the term should be, um, and still usable. So let's just take a couple out and use them just to show you guys. Yeah, so they are still super squishy and satisfying and these are probably about two years old as well now. Um, so that's really good. If you like acrylic, definitely worth it, I would say. I'm just gonna put it on my lap for now whilst we test these out. I'm gonna get a new brush. And yeah, let's try them out. So they're still really super like squishy. Uh, you can dip into them quite easily. They go down very well. They are acrylic, so they're gonna dry like a plastic. So you can make lots of big textures and do things like that that will work because they are acrylics and they dry like that, you know, after some time, obviously. A good thing about acrylic is that it does dry very quickly. Bad thing is that you can't really blend them as well as gouache, I feel. You can't really use them like watercolor in the sense of um, gouache. I think they feel a little bit different. But if you like acrylic, then this set is for you. It's really, really good. Um, I mean, there's loads of different colours, it's massive, it's still completely juicy after two years. And uh, I'm going to rate that a solid acrylic out of acrylic for you guys. Yay! By the way, they all come with like this foam lid and claspy things. And if the lid is not broken, then they are pretty, they retain um, the juiciness pretty well. If the lid is broken, like I showed you on the other set, then bad stuff happens, mold happens, drying out happens. They will dry out anyway a little bit. As I think that's the nature of things. They tend to dry out. I guess with, if you had tubes, they don't really dry out as much. But then again, I've had tubes of acrylic where I've left them or tubes of gouache where I've left them for years and they've dried out. So, you know, it might happen. I think it's less likely to happen with the tubes, but you know, you never know. The last set I have is this Marie's one. And depending on your area, they, uh, probably the shipping is gonna be quite expensive. For me, it was quite expensive, but I wanted to try them out. I've had a couple from here in the past, uh, from this company, I had a similar set, and I think I've used it mostly up. I really like them. They have this design at the bottom where they have like holes. They have like holes at the bottom so you can see the colours and then you can push them out that way if you fancy it. It's not really a big wow. It doesn't have that foam lid but it has like a sort of chocolate <laughs> looking rubber lid that is very flexible and does seal it quite well. These ones are a little bit different in the sense that they're not, I would say they're not as juicy <laughs> or as wet if I can say that, as like the the HMI ones or the Artex ones, but they're pretty nice, they're still really good, and I still really like them, they go down really well, and uh, yeah, they're really nice, and I would give these a solid good job, 
um, jelly gouache. So I guess my review has been pretty much the same for each of these. <laughs> And it entirely depends on what you want to do. So I would say if you can get these ones for cheap, as in delivered to you cheaply, I think this would be probably worth your money because they are a bigger set with more colours. But it always depends on like if you prefer mixing your own colours or how much paint you want to have. I would say that the Artex one, I think, come with two whites, which is just an added bonus. I think I would prefer that to more like another colour because I think I use white a lot you know when you go over stuff and, or mixing other colours this is my most recent set so they're still juicy and they're not dried out at all um, if I look at the previous one I had they do dry out a little bit the same as the other sets so that's the only problem with these jelly washes that they do dry out a little bit but it depends how quickly you want to use them I think people who buy them they tend to use like a lot of paint for a a quick amount of paint like quickly and make big paintings all the time so it's worth it if you do that kind of thing if you use a lot of paint it's totally worth it and you probably you probably use it up before it dries out now if you tend to do a painting every now and again probably tubes are more your thing um, if you do a painting every few months then yeah definitely get tubes because they'll be more in your interest to preserve them and uh, yeah that's pretty much my reviews on those so it was interesting for me to just do a quick video like this and I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you like to see me because I've enjoyed hanging out with you guys on stream and stuff um, I've been streaming a lot recently just because it felt easier not so much editing and things like that so if you fancy catching a stream I will be streaming over on Twitch because I've got made affiliate so you can get um, on that uh, down below I'll be making emotes and stuff like that soon which is pretty exciting and I think it's more chilled out and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it was pretty informative for you I obviously probably didn't say much stuff that you guys didn't know already uh, but yeah I think it might help you make a decision if you want to pick an jelly gouache set for yourself anyway thanks for watching guys please give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed um lots of people have been unsubscribing recently and it, it's pretty sucky so if you subscribe maybe that'll help me out thanks a lot guys and i hope to see you next time bye